Welcome back, Darth Rock One. Thank you for joining me, and thank you to all of my new subscribers. I've just had a big jump um, in my last video last week, and he just fell over, um, which I actually didn't expect to really do much because I don't really do news. So thank you and hello to everybody that's new. Um, and it just hit two thousand views, so thank you. That is my biggest video by far. Um, a carbonized and purge so thank you all i hope for a good year uh, so thank you thank you thank you so let's not mess around today i'm going to have a quick look at captain phasma it was a fan mail sent to me so i want to check it out quickly with you guys because i took some photos and it's a pretty nice figurine to be honest and a few things along the way so there's a lot to jump through today um, and at the end we're going to check out i got empire magazine there is eight huge Star Wars posters, which I am yet to check out. So we're going to do it together at the end of the video. Quickly show you my haul today, and I'm going to show you some customs along the way. And also mention Dooku Sabre is coming out real soon. Saw it come up, a couple of photos here, and it's a beauty. In New Zealand, it's, yeah, that much. So I don't know. I'd like to, but I don't know. Um, so quick haul I got today. I got my hands on at a great price. The Star Wars Hot Toys BB-8 and BB-9E Collector's Edition. So this comes with the mouse drawer as well. Um, it's a bit hard to show here, but there's the box. If um, It will pop up some photos here and... Have a quick look at that. Um, if you want me to show you on review, then let me know. I also got my hand on these sweet drink bottles, which look like hilts, and you feel pretty sweet having a drink out of those. I've also got a Jedi side one as well, so I'll show a quick photo of that. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. And thanks to Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles, I finally have my last carbonized. I shot a bit of photo on that, it's really glary. I've got it in a protector, so I don't know if I'll open it. But if you want me to review it, let me know, and you know I will. Let me know down below. So, yes, and at the end, we're going to check out the Empire magazine. So, some customs as well. We will start by having a quick look at the box and show you a custom. Quick look at the figure, another custom, and cool. Right, I will clear some stuff. So quick look, quick look at the box. Hopefully the glare is not there. I've taken it out for the photos, but honestly, that cape you'll see, it's cool, but awesome. Love it. Great design of character. Really love it. I'd like to get the damaged one too. So this was a fan mail for Raymond Z. Thank you again. Great figure. Did not have it. Number six, my lowest number. And as all you new people don't know, there is a full collection video to so check it out. Um, oh crap, the light was off then. And yeah, I started last year. I've done pretty well considering I live in New Zealand, but we have some good benefits being here as firsts. Back, beautiful picture again. Right, let's have a quick squeeze at the. Actually, no, first I am going to show you a custom. Now, this is custom from Instagram, and follow me on Instagram, DarthRock1. I will leave a link in the bio, if I remember. Is the custom from, it is a Mandalorian custom, and this custom was the person's first ever custom they did. And what a piece it was. And this is by Vizlos, I hope I'm saying that right, Vault, Vizlos Vault. It'll come up on the screen anyway, and this thing is cool. What a fantastic job. Really, really, really cool. So go check him out on Instagram as well. I'll try and leave a link also. Right. Let's check out Phasma. Took the gun off. Let's have a quick squizzy at the gun. Here we go. Bring that in. Focus. Magic. Standard blaster, I believe, but I love that gold. I wonder if it's going to come up for you, but it's a nice goldy colour. 
fantastic detail on there. There's that and a phasma. So pretty good looking figure to be honest. It is a hard plastic cape, only floor, so it does limit a lot of stuff. And like I said, it's very hard to get that hard piece out of that small gap at the back there. But I got there in the end. Right. So head articulation. Don't really want to go too far. It's a bit stiff because of the cape, but I love the detail of the silver. And as you can see, I'll show up some photos somewhere during this. Photos very, very well. I mean, silver stormtrooper. Come on. Good detail. Yeah, hard plastic, and that's obviously why. Articulation wise, I mean, it does hinder a lot here, as you can tell. But your usual, it's a bit stiff to be honest here. Bends well, usual twisty there. A little bit of the wrist, swivel in the waist. Doesn't move left and right. Legs goes that far, that far. And don't want to go any further because I feel like I might break it. I mean, all in all, awesome figure, doesn't need to pose, I mean, overly too well at the end of the day, so it's not major. Cool, so I'll get this one set up, and why I fiddle this in the background, I will show you this custom here that you're about to see, is <laughs> it's certainly one of a kind, but what an awesome job, and the time and effort gone into this will blow you away. So this one here is by Darth Vader Tacos on Instagram, again. Um, and this is Bulba Fett. So, <laughs> Poke Wars meets, Pokemon meets Star Wars. But how awesome is that? And look at the back of this one here, where you can see. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. What a brilliant idea. And on that note, this Darth Vader Carcos was inspired by who is now called Mando Maker, I believe, on Instagram, but used to be called Bricktop Vader. Bricktop Vader was the person that sent me my first ever fan mail, which came with this custom here. And this was his first custom he ever made. What a great job. I love the green, the gun here as well, and that actually, you ready for this? Magnetizes to the back. How cool is that? It's a pretty awesome custom in my mind. And I'm very proud to own someone's first custom, to be honest. Right, so as I said, there was a quick run over on that. Now, let's check out these posters. So I will figure out a different setup so we can check it out. I'll pop them out the book and we'll look at them together. Be right back. This is a quick look at the droids hanging out. They're not turned on at the moment, but they're hanging out with the baby turtles. How cool do they look? That's my Sphero R2-D2. And these are the hot toys. A quick close-up of how awesome they look. Sorry for the shaky. And there's a little mass droid. Cool. God, he looks huge on camera. They are one sixth scale. How cool is that? Right, so I've set it up the best, I think. And so you can have a good look. There's three covers. One, two, three. Pop up the screen. Pretty cool. Um, I've, yeah, I wasn't done yet. They're not cheap, so I didn't get all three. I mainly wanted it for the posters, but um, I would get another one because it looks like they might be double-sided. So it's a quite, quite a possibility all eight are going to be awesome. But that's a pretty amazing cover, you got to say. So inside, it's just a bit of a write-up about the Rise of Skywalker. Quite interesting, actually. Talking about if you think... Up on 
J for JJ. All the way through. So and it's so far it's you know it's quite an, quite an interesting read. I've read some of it I think. Um, and then you get to the middle and we have here. So you can see some really nice looking Mandalorian in this art one. So I haven't taken them out yet. So I will figure that out and then we'll look at them. So just to show you, bloody, it's going funny, isn't it? Um, it's going to work too well. Oh, yeah, see the tear line there? But you want to be careful not to accidentally tear the poster either. Right, so I've got them out, yay for me. That one didn't come out too straight, but I can fix that up and the post is okay. So, let's have a look, see what we got inside. I'll show you. Uh, yep, here we go, here's number one. Let's have a squiz at that guy. Oh, I'm just gonna zoom back. Not too much glare on there, but... Quite a nice poster. Focus. There we go. Sorry for the glare on it, but Stormtroopers, there we go. Very, very nice. Next, just flip it straight over. We've got the Rise of Skywalker poster. Very cool. And I'll pause. And I just saw the other side of this. Awesome. Sorry for the glare again. There we go. Better. So we've got an Empire Strikes Back, which is really cool. And are you ready? Boom. Artwork. Sith Ray. How cool is that? Very awesome. Very awesome. So these ones are kind of obvious. We've got A New Hope, which is neat, and Return of the Jedi, which I love, favourite movie ever. On this side, nice. Some more Mandalorian. And on this one, the Mandalorian himself. Very awesome, very impressed, very happy with those. Definite favourites right there. Might have to get these framed or something. Artwork ones. So you've got J's. The complicated profession. Very cool. I really like that. Right, so I'll leave it there, my friends. Um, thank you again for joining me. And again, thank you to everybody. Um, even that sent me stuff, my new subscribers, my fan mails, um, Aussie Sci-Fi for hooking me up with the Carbonized, and let me know what you want to see next, and be sure to check out my Instagram, and until next time, thank you all again, my friends, and embrace the dark side, and may the Force be with you all.